Another day, another game. Welcome everyone, my name is Lamses and this is my game in tier 10 French battleship Republique. On the screen you can see my captain's build and modules I'm using on Republique. Good things about this battleship. Number one, guns. Great reload, great penetration and 30 mil overmatch. Number two, speed. Uh, it's a fast ship and has, it has speed boost. Only 8% but still, with speed flag, it's capable of doing 34 knots, so it's very nice. And third good thing about this ship is its tankiness. It has not much HP, but the very weird French armor lay layout makes it very tanky. And now three bad things or I should rather say three things that uh, bothers me when I'm playing this ship. Number one, uh, it handles bad. Uh, it, it's fast but rudder shift it's over 14 seconds and turning circle is almost uh, one kilometer. So it's not very agile. Number two, the gun layout. It's very annoying, you have only two turrets so it's uh, different from most of other ships in this game and it's very annoying and the third bad thing about this ship is gun dispersion it's very weird because it has four guns per turret and vertical dispersion like sigma is very good but horizontal dispersion is bad so sometimes you've got great salvos with great dispersion and sometimes you've got just bobs that miss everything so this inconsistent guns uh, this is the only reason i don't rate this battleship very high my overall sco score for republic as a battleship is five and a half out of ten points and it's only because there are situations that you cannot rely on guns because dispersion will fail you uh, especially when you shoot uh, at the middle to long ranges uh, into bow-in ships uh, this uh, horizontal dispersion will just make you cry and okay now how do you play republic well my advice to you if you have this ship is follow your destroyers and submarines or spotters in general and use your guns you've got great reload so it's easy to catch cruisers on the turns broadside and if you met some battleships bow in you can always use HE that is very good on the Republic and thanks to great reload and good fire chance you can burn them if you stay close enough to your spotters you can always use your ASW to kill a spotted uh, enemy submarines and if you're sniping you can cannot do this gotcha, bitch. This game I'm very lucky because my daring uh, was better than enemy uh, Sherman and I don't have to worry about enemy DD anymore and now submarine is dead so I can push freely and focus on enemy battleships.
I ate some unnecessary torpedo from Schlieffen and it's very unfortunate uh, timing because fun police is coming after me now so I need to be aware that I can die very fast Luckily for me, enemy CV whiffed the drop, so I'm safe for now. I want to use this moment to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate them, you all. And for everybody else who's not subscribing yet, please consider liking and commenting down below and subscribing, of course, because every subscriber makes my day. This is the moment I made a big mistake, because, uh, to be honest with you, I should focus on this Schlieffen and finish him, but whenever I see spotted CV, I just hate them so much, I need to kill them and I switch immediately to CV. I know it's a mistake, I'm telling you it's a mistake, so you will not do the same as I do, but I just don't, can't help it, I need to kill CV when I see CV. Let me know in comments down below if you've got the same, that you need to kill CV whenever you see CV spotted, because uh, you hate them or don't like them. And the same thing goes to submarines. When I see submarine and I got occasion and range to attack submarine, I just do it because I think they are completely unnecessary in this game and they should be removed. Come on, this bug, aiming bug that makes your shell fall short, oh, it's annoying.
only cancer left alive and I want my Kraken. Let's see if I can get it in this game. always like this well it was good game anyway thanks for watching guys and of course see you in the next one